<laughs> ah, 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 scary baby. It's so scary and it's like all crushed underneath here. Poor baby got one sack. That's a mess. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Rami's Retro. Um, we are at the Scottsdale Goodwill today after work. Um, it's not quite as busy as it usually is, but uh, we are also are not coming on a weekend or a Friday. So that might be part of it. Uh, but I'm very excited to get inside and see what we can find. So let's get started. The shelves are a little thin, so we might not find too much today, but let's see what we got. She's sweet with her little flower basket, made in China, 549. Got some chips to the flowers, of course. And I like that little shell planter, 449. I don't like the flowers, but I do like the shell. Oh, it's kind of a neat color, an interesting color. I don't know, we'll think about it. It's one of those like old style little irons. It's very, very heavy. A little cactus inside of a dinosaur. A little angel without his bow. Oh, well, that's pretty, what's that? Okay, well, that's kind of cool. New Mexico, 449. I don't know, does it kind of sit like that, I guess? Okay, well, not a whole lot for us in vases. And then we've got pottery, where we usually find some good things. But today, there's not too much for us. And then we got candles and candle holders. They've still got a couple of sparkly birds left from, gosh, maybe a month and a half, two months ago. <laughs> um, but that's it in this aisle as well. Um, so let's maybe go check out plates. All right, plates, what do we got? See if there's anything good. I don't see anything so far. Let's get down here on the bottom. That's got some age to it. 549-43 Covington. And there's like a little serving tray for that same pattern, 549. This is good for 349. That's very good, actually. All right. We have broken the ice. We have found something fantastic. However, it looks like the rest of plates and bowls and everything is going to be a bust. Oh, wait, what's this? It's kind of interesting. That's handmade. A little wonky, kind of weird, like maybe a bread bowl or something. And the fish is kind of cute. No label or anything on that. Looked down and I saw this Jeanette glass. Um, I think this is the iris, iris and herringbone or something pattern. It doesn't look like there's any breaks or damage or anything on it for $7.49. Probably worth about 20 bucks. Okay, well, the disaster that is wood. Let's see what we've got today. Um, I like that little apple box. It's kind of light, lightweight, actually. Um, that doesn't go here in wood, but it's only $3.49. I like that. I think I'm going to grab that. Um, so we'll definitely throw that in the cart. We're getting non-wood things in wood. Okay, it's an interesting start to the day. A little ducky. Lots of cigar boxes. Um, let's get down here on the bottom and see if there's anything fun. It's kind of hard to, I mean, there's no way I can move all of this, but it doesn't look like there's anything back there. A little bucket. So yeah, not too much. Oh, what's that thing with the rainbow on it? And the little gnome. That's cute. Oh god, everything's balanced on top of it. Oh, it's like a bug thing, like to, like to catch bugs in. Okay, well we're gonna pass on that. We don't need that. And we got all these canvases here. Nothing for us. And then this, I don't even know if I want to touch that. Oh dear. Um... Okay, that worked. There's a needle point there. What does the needle point say? 
meet you. May the wind always be at your back and the sunshine warm upon your face. The rains fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Well, that's sweet. Um, 249 from Gretchen. Huh, I don't know. What do you think? Needle points um, do kind of good for me. And that's only 249. It's padded in a cute little frame. I think I might pick that up. May as well. We're not finding too much here today, guys. So we're going to take what we can get. All right, let's uh, maybe go check out Big Art. Okay, Big Art. I got a puzzle. That's kind of cool. Um, I like the little mirror down there. Oh, that's not a mirror. It's a picture frame. That's a mirror. Hi. We don't need any picture frames, though. Um, and that's it. That's the end of uh, Big Art. Um, I did uh, see these in Little Art, and I grabbed them really quick because I didn't want anybody else to grab them. There were several people kind of in front of that aisle. So, um, but these are really cool framed. They're called American Beauties. They're six forty nine each. There's that one, and then this one looks like Audrey Meadows to me. She's so pretty. So love those. Um, I think those will do really well. Well, you guys, um, that was kind of. That's kind of it. So I think maybe we will uh, head on up to the front. And since this was such a short video, maybe we will head to another Goodwill. Um, I went to the 32nd Street and Thomas one the other day and it was a total bust as well. So maybe they're getting ready for the weekend and stocking some stuff and we'll find something um, down the road. So I don't know, we'll see. Let's head to the front. Well, heading up to the front, I looked up and I saw three Longa Burger baskets. So that was a total score. This one's got the little plastic insert um, for $5.49 and I like that it has little hearts on it. I think that'll do good. And then this one's uh, $3.49 and $5.49. Um, they're in pretty good shape. They don't have their, their fabric or their inserts or anything, but I still think that they'll do pretty good. Um, and they're all three really nice baskets. So now we're gonna head up to the front. Well, our total spend there was $35, um, and I thought about it while I was checking out the Salvation Army stores right down the street. So let's go check that out, see if there's any good stuff, and hopefully we can get home tonight before dark. So totally weird, here's another one at the Salvation Army of those things that we just saw at the Goodwill. They went $5.99 for this guy. How weird is that? This one's bigger. We didn't wind up picking up that other one. Now I wonder if we should maybe go back for it and get both of them. I don't know. I don't even know what you do with these because they don't have any way to hang them up. So I'm so confused. Um, but yeah, nothing else really on this shelf. I'll have to think about that though. And then what's this guy down here? His little wheels turn. He's got a little tray you can take out. You know, he's kind of a fun piece. Not too much going on in glass or mugs, really. Hmm. And then we got plates and not too much going on there either. We've got some of these mainstays made to look like Fiesta wear. Well, shucks. Looks like we're kind of striking out here too. It's kind of a fun pattern. Oh, those are Corel. Huh, okay. Okay, um, I saw these little baskets. They're like hanging baskets. They're kind of cool. I thought maybe for outside, $3.99 each. Um, but then, I don't know. I'm not really sure. And I really like these keys, um, but they are going to be 20 bucks. They're $7.99, $7.99, and $4.99. But I think that I can probably get maybe 60 bucks for them. So I think I'm going to take a chance on those guys, and hopefully I don't sit on them for too long. Um, and what else do we have here? A little kind of pelican guy, maybe, $4.99. Armadillo, that's $8.99, yeah, gosh, $8.99, 
Um, I think I could get some dollars for that too, though. And armadillos are really kind of cool. They're sort of interesting little creatures. So maybe I'll pick that guy up. These are interesting little people. Little bookends, maybe, I guess. $6.99 each. $6.99 each. Uh, okay. Well, I think maybe it's just going to be those keys and the, uh, the little armadillo. At least we found something. These shelves are pretty sparse. Not a whole lot going on. So something's better than nothing. They've got a little bit of Christmas stuff left on the last aisle, and I ran into these little cutie pies. They're $3.99 each. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick those guys up. They're candle holders. Um, they've got some good weight to them, and they're darling. So I will definitely grab those. People will decorate with this sort of stuff year round, not just at Christmas time if it's cute enough, which this is. Well, I decided since that video was so short that we would hit one more store, um, but it is the following day. Uh, but we're gonna hit one more Goodwill store. Um, we're gonna stop by the one in Tempe. We haven't been here in a while. Um, so let's head on in and see what we can find. So the one unfortunate thing about this Goodwill is that it is very loud. Um, so let's try not to get in trouble with that um, and see what we can find. Um, that's kind of cute. Uh, home of Anne of Green Gables, 249 Royal Winton. I don't know. That's kind of fun. I wonder if that has any value. I've never seen anything like that before. It's only 249 I think I might pick that up. And then this guy is in really nice shape. Um, probably not worth a ton of money. Uh, but these little jewelry boxes can do pretty good. That's only $449. Um, let's go ahead and grab those guys. So, all right. Nice start. Let's see what we got down here. Uh, it's like a plastic kind of material. Uh, I don't know. Twelve forty nine. Oh wow, they're made in China. I don't think that they're probably too collectible or old. Uh, made in Japan. That's a pretty little guy. Four forty nine. All right, and then we just got some dolls down there. So let's head over to glass. Well, it looks like most of the glass is pretty common stuff. Nothing too interesting here. Take a quick look at some of these little shot glasses, but I don't see anything. Oh, those are cute. They're hand painted, actually. 99 cents. Those are kind of adorable. There's three, four of those. I don't know. Why do I like those so much? Those are kind of cool. I think I'm going to grab the set of four of those guys. All right. Well, sweet. I guess we're not leaving glass with nothing. Mm, these look kind of fun. Um, I bought something similar to this the other day. Um, I haven't listed them yet, and I got them off camera. They've got like a little red through them, and these are blue. They might be Pier 1, but it looks like there's only three of them. And that kind of affects the... Oh, my gosh. What am I saying? Three, four, five. Ooh, okay. Well, now that's a different story, because I could get four of them. Those are a dollar. $1.49 each. Let's not break them first, Rom. Okay, well, I might pick up four of those. Well, never mind. I didn't notice that two of them look like that on the bottom, so that's not going to work. So we'll have to leave those for somebody else. Oh, well. What's that little guy? Coca-Cola with the little polar bear. He's cute, huh? I wonder if Lisa would like that. I don't know. It's got some damage to the paint down here on the bottom, so... Yeah, maybe not. It doesn't look like there's really anything else super cool for us in glass. Those are kind of neat. Shamrock, luck of the, luck of the, well, I mean, it doesn't say anything because it's all messed up. Probably said luck of the Irish. Not anymore. Well, this is happening, so heck yeah. Let's see what we can find. Well, the only thing that was cool, somebody else grabbed. So we're here in plates. I found this little guy. He's hand-painted in Portugal. He's only $1.49. So I think I might pick this up. I like the little deer and the little birdie. So we'll definitely grab that. Um, I am just looking over, kind of glancing over, and there's another guy stocking a cart over here. So let's see what's happening in this general direction. That was the really awesome thing. It's pretty cool, huh? All right, well... So there's this. 
What should I do? It's really beautiful. It's an original painting. The frame is in perfect condition. It's kind of creepy, but it's also kind of awesome and mid-century. She's kissing her little baby. Um, it also kind of looks to me like Mary and Jesus. Very abstract. I think it's gorgeous. And it's $49.99. So, ouch. Um, it's pretty significant in size, too. I mean, I think I could definitely get a couple hundred bucks for it. Um, I might sit on it for a while, though. So $50, you guys. I don't know. I need to think about it. But while we think, let's see what we've got here. I kind of like this. I really like the glaze on it. Um, $249, a little napkin holder. It doesn't have any companion pieces, though. So, I mean, this would be the only one. Um, but I think apples are pretty popular for kitchens and for $249. I don't know. We'll throw it in the cart, maybe. And then what's this? I really like that pattern. I can't read what that says, but I love that color and that pattern, but these are all individually priced. So $349 each for those guys. I want to see what this bowl is, and it looks like there's like a little serving tray down here on the very bottom. See, some of these are chips, so them being individual, that might be a good thing, but let me see what we got here and get back to you. I need two hands. Oh my goodness. All right, so the bowl was in good shape. $12.49 for this bowl. It's Taylor, Smith and Taylor. Looks like there were pretty good comps on the brand, but nothing like this. Um, I couldn't find any of these um, listed, especially not as, a, as any kind of full set. And then there's these guys, uh, four of these for $3.49, four bowls for... Uh, four forty-nine, four bowls that were in good shape, and then four of the dinner plates for five forty-nine each. So it'd be like fifty dollars. So I don't know if we should go for that or not. I did also find this guy, and I got a, a little creamer uh, pitcher um, a couple of weeks ago that matches this. Um, so I think I'm going to grab this guy too to go with it for eight forty-nine. Um, so we're not making things any easier on ourselves. Um, and then I also found this, which is gorgeous. Um, and it's made in Ireland, Republic of Ireland, it says. Um, but there's no, no price on it. So we'll see what they do in the front. Looks like somebody tore the sticker off. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, but I'm not sure about these plates, guys. I don't know. We're going to have to think about it. It almost seems pointless to keep going because I've got over $100 worth of stuff in this cart, and that's crazy talk. Um, but at the same time, I have over $350 or, or more easy in profit in that cart. So I don't know. I feel like I must keep going. Better things are are on the horizon. So let's keep looking. We must, we must. I love that fishy platter for $6.49. It's got a chip on the front here. I can see it, but it's really cute. Um, let's flip around the corner and see if there's any good stuff in glass. And we've got pottery to look at too. So I like that blue bowl back there. Ooh, it's heavy. Um, does it say France? I believe it does. How much is this? $5.49? That's a pretty nice bowl. Should I pick that up for $5.49? Like I don't have enough in my cart already? Ugh. All right. Let's throw that guy in there. Well, we're finding some good stuff today, kids. $19.49 for that. That doesn't have France on the bottom of it, though. So let's, let's do ourselves a favor. Now, what do we got here? It's like a newer piece made in China, made, made to look old. And this is kind of cool, $4.49. Joe, 1987. It's broken, though. Otherwise, that's really cute. Oh, it's broken in several places. So that makes our decision a little easier, doesn't it? Well, this is kind of cool. We saw this a little earlier um, in yellow, but just the top. So this is what it looks like with the bottom. Temptations. This one's very damaged, though. So we'll pass on that guy. Oh, my goodness. Wood. Let's scan it really quick and see if there's any goodies in here for us. So far, just jumping out at me, I don't really see anything. Um, I have something that looks, oh, that says this same thing. Um, that's kind of fun, 349 on that guy. There's no way to hang it up though. Not that that matters. Somebody could put it on a shelf or something, but. 
this mu uh, music is going to get me into trouble. So I might cut off and then cut back in here in a minute. But let me see what this box is. That's kind of fun. Three forty nine. Oh, a little jewelry box. It's kind of yucky on the inside, though. Um, but three forty nine isn't a bad price. I'm not gonna get this because it says Honduras, but it's really cool. It's like a little letter holder. I love the carving and the painting. It's four forty nine. You put your little keys on the hooks there. It's got a little bit of like chips and things, but I think that sort of adds to the fun of it. Um, but like I said, I don't. I don't want it to say Honduras. Um, but it is nice. <laughs> ah. 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 scary baby it's so scary and it's like all crushed underneath here poor baby got one sack that's a mess i feel like this is something like some sort of i mean it's like a server of some kind right but i feel like it has like is it religious or what is it it's really neat but i don't know what you'd use it for um it's pretty cool Okay, I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> the cashier, when I got up there, I decided to get those plates and the painting. And I got up there and she said, these are all individually priced. And I said, yeah, crazy, huh? And she said, that ain't gonna happen. And she scanned one of each one. People, good things do happen. So that was really sweet. And uh, our total spend was $82. So we got some amazing stuff at this trip. Um, and a lot of really great stuff yesterday's trip, which is still in the back seat of the car. So I am heading home. And uh, everyone have a fantastic journey of your own. And uh, thank you all for your subscribing and your liking and your sharing and your support and your love and all your fantastic comments. Keep them coming. Um, I think we're at 670 something 672 and subscribers on the road to a thousand so thank you again and until next time um be safe out there i'll see you later bye